Gospel of the Lord, October the 31st, 2013, Luke 13, 31, 35. Just at this time, some Pharisees came up to Jesus. Go away, they said. Leave this place, because Herod means to kill you. He replied, You may go and give that fox this message. Look, today and tomorrow I drive out devils and heal, and on the third day I attain my end. But for today and tomorrow and the next day I must go on, since it would not be right for a prophet to die outside Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you that kill the prophets and stone those who are sent to you. How often have I longed to gather your children together, as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you refused. Look, your house will be left to you. Yes, I promise you, you shall not see me till the time comes when you are saying, Blessed is he who is coming in the name of the Lord. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is historic, a time when on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus is teaching and then both the king of the Jews and the Pharisees who thought about themselves to be pure and separated for God refused to accept God himself even though both of them were his special people. They are upset with Jesus because Jesus has been demanding that they as we become totally honest become humble and fight and fight pridefulness and vanity so that we could get on the boat with Jesus but the Pharisees and the king do not like him they threaten him leave this place the king wants to kill you and his reply the Lord's reply is very stern give that fox this message today and tomorrow I drive out devils and heal and on the third day I attain my end but today tomorrow and the next day I must go on since it would not be right for a prophet to die outside Jerusalem Jesus knows that he is going to die in Jerusalem. He knows that. He has resolved to go to Jerusalem to fulfill everything that was foretold about him. And then he tells us this sentence, Jerusalem, you that killed the prophets and stoned those who are sent to you. It reminds me of the killer buying workers that parable that Jesus tells them then in Jerusalem about a buying that was rented by its proprietor to some workers and once the time was ready and ripe the proprietor sent people his prophets and others to retrieve the rent what was due to him but the workers stoned and killed them and in the end when they saw that the proprietor sent his own son they killed him and put him outside the buying yard the Lord is prophesying that again and then this so tender how often have I longed to gather your children as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you refused. That is so tender, so beautiful. Do we refuse to be gathered like that? Then this Dabar Jabe, which is the word of Jabe, the word of God, as it used to be in the ancient times it is not an oracle anymore it is the logos the word the word himself who's who is speaking your house will be left to you 
will be left to you because the Lord, the glory of the Lord will not be there anymore. Abraham used to be a friend of the Lord, of God. And Moshe also used to be, Moses also used to be a friend who talked with the Lord, with the with God face to face in the tabernacle and there was this cloud that represented the glory of the Lord that filled that tent but the Lord now is telling them your house will be left to you and I am reminded that in the gospel at the time of death of Jesus on the cross this curtain who was made out of a skin of the skin of sheep actually tore itself which is very hard to happen but it tore itself that curtain was separating the Santo Santorum the blessed and the between the altar and the and the very blessed place it tore and it meant that the glory of, of the Lord of the, of God will not be there would not be there anymore. He says you shall not see me till the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who is coming in the name of the Lord. The Jews still are waiting for the Messiah. Two thousand years have passed. There are no more. There, they have been left dry. For there are no more prophets. They have no more communication with God. And yet, many turn to Jesus Christ, and many did not. This is a stern warning for you and me, that we become like these chosen people, and even the Pharisees who thought that we were close to God, at this time, they rejected his son, who is also God. Let that not happen to you or me. Let us look for reconciliation as often as we can. Let us make a detailed examination of our conscience every day that we should never be prideful that we should never reject Jesus that we should let his grace transform us that we should always be welcome him be welcoming him when do we see the Lord again when we say these words Blessed is he who is coming in the name of the Lord. And those are the very words that we say in the Eucharist at Mass. At the sacrifice, we say those words. And we are able to see the Lord. These guys in the form of bread and consecrated wine. Consecrated bread and consecrated wine in his real and actual form, not his human form. We will see him either when he comes back to our, to our world or, or when we are before him in heaven. May our Father, merciful, grant you and me and all our brothers to meet each other, but especially to be with our Lord and with himself. God bless you all, brothers.